What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be climbing back into Master Ball for the month of July with a Sylveon team created by Peter Chen. This is a really powerful, hyper-aggressive team that can just end games very quickly. We've got Choice Specs Terra Ghost Calyrex with Astral Barrage. We've got Fairy Feather Terra Fairy Sylveon with Hyper Beam. I promise you I'm not going to quit until I use Hyper Beam at least once. Uh, we've got Talonflame, which is a very cool pick for speed control because it's got a few neat techs. It's got Quick Guard, which can block priority moves from finishing off your Calyrex. It can block Fake Out from taking out your Sylveon. And it's got Faint, which, because we rely on a lot of spread damage, is good for breaking wide guards. So you can faint through their wide guard and then throw Astral Barrage or Hyper Voice. Another cool pick on this team is Gothitelle. Gothitelle is great on this super aggressive team because you can trap something on lead and then just hit it with a fake out plus choice specs, Terra Ghost, Astral Barrage, and there's basically nothing they can do about it. They can't swap, they can't swap into their Furigraph, for example, and you can get a lot of powerful pins like that. Uh, and if they go for a for Protect, you could do Gothitelle Urshifu, because we have a dark, stellar Terra Urshifu here, uh, with, with just the standard set and a Sash, which can just break through Protects on lead. Powerful pin. Rounding this team off, we've got Ogre Pond. It's just a standard Ogre Pond set. Ogre Pond's just a good Pokemon. With Talonflame, it sort of makes a Fire-Water-Grass combo, but Talonflame doesn't have any fire moves. It actually has Terra Flying, Sharp Beak, Brave Bird. That's pretty powerful. I wonder if we're going to see something with that today. But anyways, I hope you're ready to see Sylvia and put in some work. I'm going to try my best to climb into Master Ball, and I'm not going to stop until I'm in Master Ball. So go ahead and look at the timestamps. You'll see how long it took me. I don't know yet. Uh, but anyways, let's get on to it. They've got Grimmsnarl, Garganackle with Wide Guard could be annoying. Um, they've got Blood Moon Bear... Urshifu and Incineroar. So spamming the Calyrex isn't the best. But it's not the worst either. I mean, I could do Calyrex in the back, maybe. I think Sylveon's really strong. Just gotta worry about Wide Guard. Uh, so maybe Gothitelle, Sylveon, Calyrex in the back to finish that up. And then they don't have any speed control outside of Thunder Wave Grim. So I don't know if I actually want Talonflame at all. Maybe I want Urshifu just because it's got the Sash. And it can crit through their screens. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna go with that. Alright. Alright, Sylveon. Let's see what you can do. Because of the Garganackle... I mean, I've got Fake Out, which will go before Garg. I've got Taunt that can turn off their wide guards. And they've got, oh, they've got a shiny Palmot. I've got so many sh shiny Palmos. They're like so easy to find in the overworld. Oh my goodness. Beast Palmon. Yeah, I'm cool with this. I can work with this. Fake out the Maridon and Hyper Voice. Get some big damage across the board. Uh, or should I commit a Hyper Beam? I really wish I had led uh, Calyrex now, actually. Uh, they're gonna get screens up. I'll Hyper Voice. And I will fake out their Maridon. They're gonna probably Terra Light Screen, I would guess. The cool thing is they can't swap out. Unfortunately, Gathatel can't really do much to Maridon, and. I don't have my speed control, so like they're gonna Terra, probably Terra Electric. Yep, just to try to take this Hyper Voice well. I'm not gonna let them do anything this turn, because that, if they're Specs, which I think they would be going for that play turn one. Oh, they're gonna Parting Shot. Okay, that's as effective as Light Screen, but also you get out of the way. Smart. Could it be a Discharge, then? Oh, it doesn't matter what they're going for, really. They're not going to move this turn unless they're Cloak, which would be crazy. Yeah, they're going for a Discharge. That damage is not really there. 
Uh, I could Hyper Beam now. I think I'm willing to. Hyper Beam the Maridon and... Might as well go all out. As long as Sylveon can live a hit, we should be alright. And if they're going for Discharge, I think we can live a hit. And Sylveon... Our Sylveon's not super fast. But it probably should be faster than their bear, unless they're like max speed. Which they could be. Oh, Sylveon doesn't take that. No, Sylveon! That's okay, actually. Oh, and they go for Blood Moon. Alright, you can't do that again. We have to lock into a move with Calyrex now. Uh, if we lock into a Psychic move, we can't hit Grimmsnarl at all. If we lock into Pollen Puff, there's no way we're going to KO Maridon. We do have some Chip on the Bear, which is great. If I trick, I'm going to lose both of my Pokemon. Or a little just Urshifu, probably. Um... Yeah, it can't really be Pollen Puff. Astral Barrage is scary, though. I guess it's gotta be Astral Barrage Close Combat. Don't really have much other play. If you have Garganackle in the back, uh, would you go into who? Grimmsnarl here? Or is it Garg? Oh, uh, you've got Grimmsnarl. Okay. That's not too bad. I don't really mind that too much. Uh, you can get some drops on me to try to live with your Maridon, but I can always sucker punch to do a little extra chip. And now that I'm a pure ghost type, I don't think you can Oko me with like sucker punch or foul play or anything. Well, this should do some real damage, honestly. You don't have any screens or drops up right now. Yeah, that does over half. Whoa! You can do one move, though that one move might just be Thunder Wave and then Discharge. Well, it wouldn't be Thunder Wave and then Discharge, it would be Thunder Wave and then, like, Electro Drift. That would be really bad. Mm, is there anything I can do about that? No, not really. That's what they want to go with, that's what they're going to go with. Oh, and they have Parting Shot, though. They don't have Parting Shot and Thunder Wave. So I'm cool to Astral Barrage and Sucker Punch. So I, there's no way your Maridon has Protect. Your, your Specs. I saw that damage. Your Choice Specs, the Maridon. Um, if you have Parting Shot and Thunder Wave, I'm cooked. Completely cooked. Unless Urshifu can win the day. Uh, but then you would have to commit that. Okay, there's Sucker Punch, good damage. There's Light Screen, that's not gonna save Maridon, it'll save you. But Maridon's out of here, let's go! Now it's not over, because if you have Garganackle in the back, I mean, you can Wide Guard all you want, I'm gonna take out Grim with Close Combat. Hmm. So yeah, even Garganackle in the back, I don't think got this for you. I think I'm in a good place! Don't want to count my eggs before the chickens, uh... The, the, yeah. Don't do that. It is Garganackle. I can't. I have no choice but to Astral Barrage, but I'm also going to Close Combat. Integrate. Yeah, I still have my Sash. Close Combat's fine. And then if you don't Wide Guard, Astral Barrage will take out Grim, and Close Combat will get redirected. I don't think Close Combat's gonna Oko Guard. I'm adamant, but I don't have a boosting item of any kind. And Garganackle's got some good defense stats. Alright, they don't even Wide Guard. Maybe they don't know I'm Specs. Or maybe they saw that that wasn't the play. I just think there was nothing they can do there, because they can Wide Guard all they want. I'm gonna just eventually get to Close Combat here. Yeah, did decent damage, too. Through the resist from its ability purifying salt? Wow. Calyrex insane. 
Uh, Sylveon, Sylveon did stuff too. Good job, Sylveon. <laughs> Sylveon uh, got the chip we needed to put Maridon in range. GG's. John. Uh, John's got the Zacian Regidrago team. They've got Chiyu, Amoongus, Water Pond. And uh, why can't I think of the Cotton Ball's name? Whimsicott. Yeah, there it is. Palorex is faster than their whole team unless they're Scarf Chiyu, which they very well could be. Um, trapping something in and getting an Astral off is great. Having Sylveon just in case they bring Regidrago, also great. Matching Tailwind might be necessary. I would need Tailwind plus something that can KO Zacian. Can Catex KO a Zacian? I don't know. Uh, it's probably my best bet. I need Sylveon just in case Regidrago's there. And then finally, uh, I guess Calyrex... I guess Sylveon's a decent swap into Chiyu as well, but not the best. Uh, I could Urshifu, but it can't really touch Zacian. Ogre Pond can redirect a lot of stuff, actually. Ogre Pond looks pretty good. Yeah, I like Ogre Pond. I'm not gonna do Gothitelle because I'm not putting it in front. Gothitelle as a lead feels pretty strong into this team, but... Well, maybe I could have. Gothitelle, Calyrex, but then they could just protect, set up Tailwind, you know. And they don't have a trainer card, you know. People without trainer cards scare me. Like, you're not playing this game for fun. You're playing this game for glory. Alright, looks like we can just match Tailwinds. They're probably Scarf Chiyu, though, so I guess we're going to Zilveon. I don't mind starting out with Sylveon, honestly. Uh, in that case, do we even need... The wind matching. What should a, uh, a Brave Bird just does to Chiyu? If I Terra it. But I want to save Terra. You know what, I'm cool with just a regular Brave Bird into Chiyu. I know if I knew that calc confidently. Uh, they could also be Sash on Chiyu though. Yeah, Sash on Chiyu on this team would actually make a lot of sense. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for the the <laughs> big damage, especially when I don't even know if it's enough. Oh, it would have been enough. Hot and Spore. Interesting. It's a prankster, so we still don't know the speed tier on that thing. Alright, that's just Snarl, fine. Alright, I think Faint to finish off Chi Yu should be able to do it. And now I'll just Hyper Voice the Whimsicott. Uh, I could get Encore, but then I would get Encore into Faint. Yeah, that's fine. They did Snarl, so I'm not going to be super strong with Sylveon, but taking that KO is great. Getting some damage off is great. Uh, they're putting up Tailwind. It's probably Zacian coming in then. What do I do? It's okay. It's not Faint Range. Oh, could be Quick Attack Faint Range, though. Chiyu's gone. They certainly have Zacian. And they have Ogre Pot. Honestly, I want a Hyper Voice Great Bird, right? Not having speed control is a little annoying. I guess I could go into my own Ogre Pond on the Town Flame slot. Town Flame doesn't really have too much to do here. Hyper Voice should be able to pick up Blinzicott. If they tear the Ogre Pond, Whatever. Um, my Ogre Pond's not too threatened here, honestly. I don't- they would never go for a grass move into the Talonflame slot. 
Moonblast, no Terra from their Ogre Pond. Ivy Cudgel into mine. Great. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Get out of here, uh, Whimsicott. Ooh, decent damage into Ogre Pond, actually. I if I just go for a Hyper Beam to try to finish that off entirely. It's not like Hyper Voice is going to do too much anymore. I also don't need Talonflame much. I do need to get rid of their Tailwind. I could double protect this turn. Yeah, I mean, that risks them, like, swords dancing or something, which would be terrifying. They also don't Terra. I mean, they wouldn't need to Terra here. Right, they're going for a Follow Me. And just a Behemoth Blade. Cool. I can live with that. I can do my own Follow Me and Hyper Beam you. If you spiky shield this turn, I mean, I don't think you feel that threatened, right? You don't know I'm gonna hyper beam, and you probably are happy with me hyper beaming. Yeah, just follow me. Perfect. And then the next turn, if Ogre Pond's still alive, it should be. Yeah, it's just the human blade. Oh, I can take another one. That's amazing. I Ogre Pond, yes! Hyper Beam! <laughs> That's beautiful. I have a really old short on my channel about uh, Sylveon not being able to KO an Ogre Pond with Hyper Beam, and uh, go check that out if you haven't. Um, so that feels really nice to get that this time. Yeah, you can take my Sylveon if you want it, it's free. It's absolutely free. And if you don't, you're gonna take Chip for it. Wow, really? Okay. See, Sylveon's not very threatening. So they're because I'm at minus one. Hyper Beam's not even gonna do half, I would guess. The fact that they keep clicking Behemoth Blade is interesting. If you're going after Ogre Pond, shouldn't it be a follow a, a Playra? No, just Behemoth Blade. Now, do you have a Terra that just makes Calyrex sad? Let's see. Astral Barrage, I assume we're max speed. We are, so we are faster, guaranteed. And then another follow me. If you're Terra normal... Okay, that's my Terra. <laughs> I got scared for a second. Hoping this does enough damage to just KO from here. We got a little tiny bit of chip. And I mean, it's single target, choice specs, Terra Ghost, Astral Barrage. That's a $90 move coming at ya. And it's enough. Goodbye, Zacian. Woo! Sylveon put in some work, too. I love it. Mm. GG's. Let me know if you think the Chiyu is sashed. Chandelure. And Zamazenta, who's going to have Wide Guard. And Moltres, who's definitely showing up. Uh, along with Chen Pao, Rillaboom, Fluttermane. Your speed control is better. Maybe I can trap something down with Sylveon and Gaktel? I can trap in the Moltres and delete it, or force it to Terra, then Calyrex can come in in the back and do some crazy work. Um, I could also go with 
Talonflame first, but I don't have moves to threaten. Oh, I could faint. I could faint Astral Barrage. Uh, no, I'm worried about Chen Pao. I like Sylveon, Gothitelle, Calyrex. Uh, do I want Urshifu? No, do I want Talonflame? Maybe. Uh, late game Faint could work. Late game Tailwind could work. One priority Brave Bird could change this game. Yeah, I'm gonna go Talonflame in the back. I am not bringing... I, I'm relying entirely on Sylveon and Calvaret to do the- Oh, come on! I'm relying entirely on Sylveon and Calyrex to carry. I mean, that's like the team. Beautiful. You're gonna get faked it out, and you're gonna- Oh, show me speed. Show me speed. I like that. I like speed. Alright. Hyper voice. Ultras isn't honestly that threatening to Sylveon, so I'm wondering if I should just helping hand this. Yeah, I, I was gonna fake out, but I feel like Moltres probably protects, or Terra. Here's my helping hand. No Terra. Must be protect? No, just a Thunder Wave. Okay. You're gonna go for a Paraflinch? I should have gone for fake out then. Oh, just taunt? Oh yeah, if I get this Hyper Voice off, you're in trouble. Yeah! Bye, Moltres! <laughs> Alright. One Cali Shadow answer deleted. Next. <laughs> Be a Cali Shadow answer. Alright. Going for Cali Shadow. Alright, um. Getting into Talonflame would be nice may not be doable. Haunted on Gothitelle. They cannot swap, which is nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for a Detect here. Hopefully I get it. Try to foul play their Rillaboom for some chip. Because that'll be decent chip. They've got a good attack stat. Uh, it's just Moonblast. They have Moonblast and Taunt. Maybe they don't have Shadow Ball. I am faster than the Rillaboom. Oh! Cool. Big damage. Ooh, that's nice. It wasn't Taunt, it was Thunder Wave on the Flutter Maid. Taunt was on the other thing. Yeah, but Foul Play... Mm. <laughs> I am gonna swap Sylveon for Talon Flame, actually. so I can't do anything like that. I think I'll play the Rillaboom, I guess. Just get everything set up. Like, Foul Play's not gonna do anything to Fluttermane. Oh, it's a shiny talent plane. Alright, yeah, you're just throwing Thunder Waves because you don't have much better to do. Oh, are you comboing that into Woodhammer, maybe? That'd be cool. Keep, leave my talent plane full. Nope. Wow, that did too much damage. And Gotham's Hell cannot move because it is paralyzed. Fine. That was so much damage. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna Brave Bird the Flutter Main and Foul Play the Rillaboom again. You can go ahead and spread your para. I'm not gonna try to set up Tailwind. Uh, I guess you could. I don't see anything you can do. Unless you have Shadow Ball or Power Gem or something, you're not going to be able to knock out Talonflame. I guess you could protect Fluttermane, Woodhammer, Talonflame again. Then maybe it would be in range. But if you're just going to rely on Para Hacks, I mean, that works. <laughs> Sometimes that does it. Uh, Woodhammer into Goth here. That's fine. If I actually get this Brave Bird off, I'm very happy. No! Brave Bird would have been so big! 
can't safely go into Calyrex yet. Alright, uh, now I'm gonna try to set Tailwind. If I can get Tailwind up, then I can just come into Calyrex and start blasting. Maybe though with Saisha? I don't know, that's not very good in the Zamazet though. Oh, it's an Icy Wind. Is that a double into Talonflame? Good to see your other moves. You got a lot of speed control. I don't think I'm in Woodhammer range. And that would be into Sylveon anyway. You can't risk me getting a Hyper Voice here. Okay, cool. Got my Tailwind. That'll be for Calyrex. And I'm at minus one. If I get to minus two, Rillaboom should be faster. So they might have to Icy Wind again. But I'm happy to Brave Bird the Flutter Mane and just go for a Hyper Voice. Woodhammer could maybe take me out, but whatever. If I lose something, I get into Calyrex. And I would rather lose Sylveon. Looks like it might be a double into Sylveon. Fluttermane's gone. Yes. Double the Sylveon, I don't care. And if you don't double the Sylveon, you lose your Rillaboom. Okay. That's cool with me. Is Grass gone? Oh, huh, Rillaboom's not gone yet. Because I assume the last is Zamazenta with Wide Guard. But I can feint through the Wide Guard and just Astral Barrage. And then that would be game. If I get full parrot. I don't think it's Psy Shock. I think it is faint. Obviously. I think it's Terra Ghost Astral Barrage. I think it's gotta be. There's also a chance they don't even have Wide Guard at all. There's also a chance they're Terra Normal Rillaboom and I just lose. <laughs> Although, if they, if they take out Talon, then that is. It is Wide Guard. Come on, Talon Flame, you got this. No! No, no, no! What's really been doing? It's insane. Mega Crit and they'll Tarot Grass. I don't know. Wow. Sometimes that's the way it goes, I guess. Man, I made the right play and everything. I guess you couldn't knock into Psy Shock. Ah, GG's. It's a Kyogre and Overquill team with Volcarona, Rillaboom. Landorus and Tornadus. Is that the exact one that's been going around? Let's see. Yes, that's the exact team. Awesome. So I'm gonna pull up that paste real quick so I know what I'm dealing with. Now, how do I want to start out? Oh, uh, I could match Tailwinds and I could Astral Barrage. I could, I could got the tell, but they've got a lot of protects. Oh, also Landorus is scarfed, interesting. Um, I like Talonflame, I like getting speed control. 
The problem is Calyrex and Sylveon uh, are both scared of Overquill. So is Ogrepun. Oh, my whole team is terrified of Overquill. Overquill has to go. As soon as humanly possible. Alright, Calyrex. Talonflame. Sylveon isn't bad. And then I think I need Urshifu. I mean, it's priority. It's got a Sash. No, I need Ogre Pond. Shoot. Yeah, Ogre Pond's fine. Oh boy. Maybe it could have been Ogre Pond first and Terra it so that I can't get gunk shotted. I imagine Crunch probably kills. Oh, come on, no trainer card? What's with that? Kyogre Tornado. They've got Cloak, they've got Mystic Water. Leak Wind, Tailwind, Rain Dance, Taunt. Uh, I think we just match Tailwinds and try to blow each other up, right? Um, I could... Yeah, because they have... They have Water Spout? Or Hydro Pump? Or Ice Beam? Tailwind. Huge Astral Barrage. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. They don't have any good switch-ins to this. And they're Kyogre's Terra Ghost, so like, good luck! <laughs> uh, Torn Terra Dark is, is a play, maybe? And I mean, just tanking the hit with Kyogre and hitting me with a Hydro Pump isn't a bad play. We get our Tailwind first, as we should. They're pretty slow. <laughs> They get their Tailwind up. Califlame doesn't get hit, we know we're faster than they uh, They don't have a lot of special defense, but their Kyogre is pretty bulky, so that should take this, right? Yeah, Kyogre takes it, but not Torn. Now, if you go for Water Spout, you're not really doing much, which is great. If you go for Hydro Pump, maybe you miss? It's Water Spout. Alright, Talonflame's going down. Calyrex eats that breezily. Alright, who do they go into to stop me here? Overquill, definitely. They go Overquill and they crunch. So, I go Ogre Pond to redirect that crunch. They could also go Landorus for Sandseer Storm. I don't think I'm in range. That might be. In which case, Ogre Pond should be able to take them out. Their Kyogre is actually quite slow. 138 on my Ogre Pond, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's the play. They could have... Well, Corona's not going to help them. They have Overquill. Alright, we got to redirect the Overquill's Crunch. And we got to Astral Barrage again. I mean, we don't really have a choice but to Astral Barrage again. Uh, go ahead and go for Gunk Shot if you want. I'm going to keep throwing these. Uh, protect Gunk Shot if you take me out and live is the play. But you have to take me out live, live your life orb recoil, and not be in quick attack range. Alright, you connected the gunk shot. That was the right play. Good play. This is going to be so much damage, though. Overquill does not have good special defense. If you're in quick attack range, we're golden. Oh yeah, uh, that's quick attack range, I guess. <laughs> Bye, Overquill. Thanks for another plus one. I love it. And Sylveon's time to shine. Kyogre is stuck because it just protected. Uh, there's Landorus. I guess you go for Sandseer. I guess you could go for. You got Terra left. Um, if you can KO Calyrex with Earth Power... You're Terra Ground, though. I'm just gonna Hyper Voice Astral Barrage and hope for the best. Terra Ground Earth Power, Terra Ground Sandseer Storm, plus Hydro Pump. That KOs Calyrex. I'm actually in huge trouble. Just Sandseer, but that might do it. 
Oh no! A crit on Calyrex! No! Oh no! It's devastated. Alright, they played that perfectly. Ugh! Oh, GG's. All right, we've got, ooh, Electabuzz, uh, Calyrex, Smeargle, Annihilate, Farigarath, and Blood Moon. I think I've seen this team, too. Where would you be? Threatening, but Miracle's a problem. Tell to trap whatever they want first off. It seems pretty fun. Halorex doesn't seem unfun. Just have to worry about what Smeargle might want to do. They also have a lot of answers to Calyrex. So maybe got to tell Urshifu? That's a good pin. Start with that. Calyrex for sure. And then maybe it's Ogre Pond, honestly. Could be Sylveon? I'm gonna go Ogre Pond to this one. Because if I save Terra for Ogre Pond, it can take a hit from Calyrex. If Cal depending on the Calyrex Terra, it might be able to hit it super effectively. It's a decent card. I like it. Creative. Drip, though. Ugh. Annihilate Smeargle? What is that? What is that? I don't get that at all. I'm gonna go for a Taunt Detect. I have no idea what this is. I'm scared. They can swap the ape too, but they can't swap Smeargle. So if I taunt it, that'd be cool. I don't want to get like fake outed to break my sash or anything. That's exactly what they were going for. Cool. Oh, are you just gonna gambit my goth? Because that would be fine. Shadow Does 102 damage. And we have 118 HP. Beautiful. And now that you're taunted, I can freely Helping Hand and Wicked Blow your Annihilate. Who can swap, but you don't have any switch ins to that. Smeargle's trapped on the field until Gothitelle goes down, which is awesome. Especially if it's struggling. Oh no, it can't struggle because it has fake out. Right. <laughs> it has an attack. It has to use. That's awesome. Are you gone? No. Okay, foul play and sucker punch. You can swap. You can swap annihilate. I don't know if you want to. No, they didn't. Okay. Give me the ape. And break this Smeargle sash. I gotta get rid of Smeargle eventually. You know what has just status moves after fake out. We just don't know which ones. We also can see that it's not moody. Which means it's probably a slow one. Final turn of Taunt. I'm gonna go for a Foul Play. Is it time to Terra?
think so. With foul play in, we could blow their horse. Which will definitely take it out. And this got the tell so fast, there's no way it can catch me. Even if they're a fast horse. Which I think on a team like this, because it doesn't have Moody on Smeargle, I think it's EV to be slower than their horse, which means their horse needs speed EV. And your taunt is finally gone. We never got to see the speed tier between Gothitelle and that thing, though. Go for a... no. What I have in the back should be fine. I'm gonna go for... Haunt into Smeargle, just in case the other thing uses Follow Me. Combat and taunt. Those cancel. GG. Yeah. <laughs> that's the power of Gothitelle the right there. Weezing, that's interesting. Uh, they also have Chiyu Fluttermane, which are strong in the sun. They have a Tornadus for speed control, and they have an Iron Bundle for even more speed control. I don't get the Galar Weezing. Chiyu Fluttermane is very scary. Think I need to match Tailwind. Chiyu, Fluttermane, I could go Calyrex. Sylveon would be faster than a non-booster Fluttermane. Would they be booster energy on their Fluttermane on this team? I don't think so. Maybe I could go Talonflame, Sylveon. I don't think Gothitelle is a good lead. Because I expect them to have Tornadus or Chiyu out front, or maybe Fluttermane. Lots of stuff that could be immune to Fake Out, immune to Flinching, or Terra Ghost, commonly. Obviously I want Calyrex. Like, put up Tailwind, sweep with Calyrex. That's the game plan. Just worrying about Fluttermane. Urshifu seems fine. Ogre Pond would seem fine, but there's a few things that threaten it, so I think it's Urshifu. Because, like, Freeze Dry threatens it, the Poison-type thre threatens it, Sun being up weakens it, Tornadus can hit it. Yeah, it's not Ogre Pond here. Ogre Pond would be great lead versus Chiyu Flutter. If I could get them to lead Chiyu Flutter main and just bring Ogre Pond first, we'd be, we'd be great. They got a good card. They're at the festival. That's fun. Tornadus and Weezing. It's the Surge Weezing. Oh, that's cool. Sylveon's a little threatened by you, honestly. At least I have my ability. <laughs> um, I could match Tailwind this turn, I probably need to. put Tailwind up and actually go into Calyrex hard. They don't have anything that threatens Calyrex specifically on the field right this second, and I want to take advantage of that. Everything I brought Sylveon for seems to be in the back. So I don't want to lose Sylveon here just to do some chip damage that I don't really need. Alright, they're going to delay their Tailwind. Oh, they're gonna miss the explosion. That's funny. That's hilarious. Is that strong enough to take out my Calyrex? Because that would be really funny. No, it's not even. Oh, that's weak. Oh, that's so weak. Oh, uh, but you get free swap. And you broke my Gale Wings. If it's Scarf to you or Booster Flutter Man. Whatever. I'm cool with that. You're going to take a Brave Bird, and you're going to take a Ghost Astral Barrage. That was that was cool. Uh, it didn't do anything, but it was very cool. <laughs> I'm not 
sure I get the point. Like, pairing that with Groudon makes sense if you're not Terra Fire. You can avoid burns. You can also block spores that way, but you have Tornadus for that. Alright, no swaps from them. I was a little worried about a Groudon Protect. I don't know, that doesn't seem like the... Like, they could, like, protect Groudon, and if they're, like, Sash on Thorn, they Icy Wind into Tailwind or something. Swagger. You didn't even put up your speed control, though. That's cool. That's really cool. That's what the terrain is for. That's an awesome combo. She would be Clear Amulet with that combo. So you're not Assault Vest, so you're not taking that. Not well. I mean, you took it. Like, you're obviously going to take that. You never put up your speed control. Can Brave Bird take you out? I've got Sharp Beak and everything. Yeah. Cool. Now you've got one month to take out the rest of my team. And you don't have speed control. GG. <laughs> Unless you've got a Terra Normal Pokemon that can somehow take it back. Chiyu is a nice pick for this last slot, but it's not going to be enough. There's nothing that can... Like, you're going to take a Brave Bird, but it's going to do most of your health. And then... GG. That was a cool combo. Like that was really cool. I'm gonna, I gotta give it to them. They just didn't have time to pull it off. So we got Chen Pao, Ting Lu, Pelipper, Rillaboom, and Urshifu. Everything Calyrex hates is on that team. Everything. Wow! 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 So it's gotta be Sylveon. Maybe Sylveon Ga. Or is it Sylveon Talonflame? Uh, their only speed control would seem to be their Pelipper. Sylveon is fast enough to catch everything but Scarf Urshifu. Because of Scarf Urshifu, maybe I'd bring Umbrapon? Um, maybe you got to tell Sylveon and then two just damage, 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 damage. But then my whole team is slower than Zamazenta, which is annoying. So I need Talonflame, Sylveon. I like Ogre Pond, because they're going to put up rain. I don't like it, though, because of the Rillaboom. And then the question is, do I bring Urshifu, or do I just bring Calyrex anyway? I've got Pollen Puff, I've got Psy Shock. I think I bring Calyrex anyway. That's what I'm going to go with. I've got my Faint user. I've got my Speed Control. I've got... <laughs> I love that. You win trainer cards. Uh, that's the lead I wanted to see, though. Nah. <laughs> that's the lead I wanted to see if I brought Goth. Alright. Bring in Ogrepan. You wouldn't surge and strikes the talent plane, you would surging strikes the oak the uh, Sylveon. Because you're gonna go first. Oh no Terra from Urshifu, or they're not Scarf? Sounds like a Scarf Urshifu team to me. They're not tearing and they are Scarf, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness, they're not tearing. Please be Scarf, let me take you. Yeah! Let's go! I burned Terra for that, and even though I didn't need to, probably. But... Uh, now what is it, Weather Ball into Talonflame? We came into the Ogre Pond swap! Good cover. I can't be mad, that's just the right play. Wow. I 
if they have faint next turn. Can't really protect Talonflame. Kaelin and Spiky Shield is fine. And then there's a chance Talonflame's still alive. So not a huge. Nope, Talonflame's gone. Alright, oh, uh, they didn't even Sucker Punch. I guess I could have attacked with Ogre Pond. But I think this is fine. Calyrex time! Call and puff, follow me. That's the play, right? They can't go for Sucker Punch. This catches them if they go for Wide Guard. It'll do good damage to Chen Pao. I guess getting locked into Pollen Puff is bad. They didn't wide guard. Which is also pretty bad. So now they get to sucker punch me. No! Oh, I messed up. I messed up bad. No, they don't get to Sucker Punch me because I have Tailwind up. Right. We're not out of this. We got this. They do have Protect. Don't care. Goodbye. Still more Tailwind, alright. Hello, Zama. Uh, I guess I'll Pollen Puff Pelipper and Hyper Beam? I think that's what I have to do. Does Hyper Beam take out a Zama Zenta? No way. So I'm kind of terrified. Astral Barrage the whole time. They're not even clicking Wide Guard. Maybe the Wide Guard is on Zamazenta. Maybe they'll do it now, not knowing I'm Choice. They definitely know I'm Choice. This was such a bad matchup. Alright, let's see what Hyper Beam does. Big damage! Heavy Slam, though, is really bad to see. Yeah, that's gonna be game. Oh, come on! <laughs> the duckies. Uh, rain is gone, so you can miss those. So I guess I throw Pollen Puff into Zamazenta. Hope that does enough. Hope I get through my confusion and don't get hit by Hurricane and somehow do enough to Zamazenta before it decides to click Heavy Slam. Yeah, that's it. Just click the buttons, my dude. Unless you think you're in range of something. Interesting. Double protect just to fish for the specs? See if I'm gonna hit myself for free? Stall out tailwind? I hit myself for free. Pollen Puff is somehow enough. There's no way it would be. You saw what Hyper Beam did. I'd save Terra. Wide Guard. Pollen Puff 
on Puff Pelipper then. One more does it. I have to dodge two hurricanes. I don't dodge one. All right, GG. Oh, oh, the way they were playing that end game was scary. I guess they were worried I wasn't Specs and I was just baking it the whole time. That would have been funny. Anyway, GG, that's a great trainer card. All right, we've got a Maridon matchup. They've got the two normal types. They've got Whimsicott. They've got Fire Ogre Pond, and they have Iron Hands. I like Gothitelle because they have nothing that can swap out of Fake Out to bring in Farigarath. So I can get a Fake Out. I also like Calyrex, even though it seems weird. I do like it though. So I could potentially pin a Maridon lead. After that, Urshifu and Sylveon seem nice. I guess Talonflame could work too just for the speed control. But getting locked out of Brave Bird if they just have Farigarath on the field seems kind of bad. So I like Sylveon here. I'm not... Usually I play to force a featured Mon onto the field, but this team is so cool that I just... I'm just bringing whatever I think is right. Cool card. Who is that guy? Is that just some NPC on the phone? Get out of his face. He's, he's having a private conversation. This is exactly what I was hoping to see. Because you typically on a team like this, the Maridon will be choice. Meaning I can fake out Astral Barrage and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't swap in for Rigorath. You can't protect, because hopefully you don't have protect. Bada bing, bada boom. Now it does get very awkward if they have protect. Uh, if they have covert cloak, I can just lose turn one. Um, if they have covert cloak and Terra Electric. Electro Drift is probably enough, right? Because so they would have to tailwind. I don't think Scarf Mariah would be funny. Terra Ghost Mariah would be funny. But then you're definitely gonna die if it doesn't work out. They are going for Terra. Into Mariah. Into Electric. That's pretty typical of these Choice Specs Mariah teams. And we get the Fake Out. Beautiful. Tailwind? Obviously. And I think on this team you're Sash, probably. So he won't take you out, but a big Astral Barrage is beautiful. Hopefully enough to take out one. It is. Perfect. And you are Sash. Alright, everything's going according to plan. I love this lead versus this team. Closing it is sometimes hard though, because they have two normal types in the back, potentially. Along with what? Fire Ogre Pond? Mm -hmm. That's threatening. Because of the speed control they've got. Yep, there's their normal type. Calyrex should probably just leave. Into Sylveon? Yeah, into Sylveon. Urshifu is really important for my endgame. Leaving Calyrex on the field feels bad here. I'm torn to fake out. Ah, fine. That's fair. Blood Moon. Detect, I get Encored. I'm gonna bring Calyrex in on this slot. And 
quick attack. I don't, I don't want to deal with Encore anymore. They can't swap out their Whimsicott. They could protect it, but they can't go into Furigraph to block this. And I'm going to take a big Hyper Voice. Yeah, I get it. It's, it's not a perfect position to be in. Oh, they protect. That's pretty bad. So is it. Calyrex can't take a Blood Moon. But I can get another Fake Out turn if I want. And I do want. They just protected with their Whimsicott. Last turn of Tailwind. Yeah, I'm gonna fake out Bear and Psy Shock the Lindsay Bat. Who does go for double protect? That's the correct play. That play could win you the game. And the bear just protects, so I made the right call here. Um no, either, either way, I was going to crisscross applesauce either way, it wouldn't have made a difference. Whimsicott didn't get the double so it was going down. But this way I get a plus one, which is beautiful. Oh, the bear is not going to like that. Who could you have last? You could have Ogre Pun with redirection could be bad. Iron Hands, that's not going to do it. Urshifu can more easily pick up their bear. So I want to Psy Shock into Iron Hands. They don't have Terra left. but I'm happy to help in hand boost it. If they see this and protect Iron Hands for some reason if they have that, which would be weird. No, they just fake out into God. All right, saw that. That's what, that's what the helping hand is about. Get out of here. Boom. And then sure, go ahead and take out my horse, but you don't have Terra left and I've got an urge to Helping Hand Close Combat will very cleanly knock out from where you're at. GG. Oof. That's a scary matchup, though. There's, there's a lot of big KOs back and forth. Double Protect on Wim could have been a problem, too. But I definitely have the right Mons. Uh, Sylveon didn't do much. It's fine. And they cancel. Uh, I guess if you had like Vacuum Wave, you could have tried, but I don't think you did. GG's. Alarex I No, Calyrex Shadow and Electabuzz. Huh. With Rillaboom, Incineroar, Urshifu combo. That makes me think it's a setup, Cali. Along with Landry. As much as I like to just go blow stuff up with, with Calyrex, I don't think that's the play. Talonflame seems really good. Talonflame seems so important. Block a fake out, do some big damage. With Sylveon? With Urshifu? Do some big damage, clear the way for my Calyrex. And then I think my Urshifu's fine. Um, Gothitel trapping isn't super important. Though I could get a big turn one with that. Gothitel Calyrex. Oh, no, I like that a lot. I'm going back and forth. There's a couple ways to do it. Um, But no, I think the creator said that Sylveon is a better lead into the mirror. It's not exactly a mirror. 
Don't really like Ogre Con here. Yeah, I think this is the way. It's a scary matchup, though. But also they have Electabuzz, which is cool. I don't really know what to think about Electabuzz other than it's bulky and follow me, and that's a great trainer card. Wow. All right. Just like the buzz and your horse. Okay. Do I want Terra for my horse or do I want to just go all in right now? I think I want to go all in right now. Biggest hyper voice you've ever seen. And I guess set up my Tailwind, there's a chance they just knock out my Talon Flame. In which case, putting Tailwind up this turn would be big. Alright, Sylveon, let's see what kind of damage you can do. I want to see some damage. And now we're not faster if they're Calyrex's max speed. Ooh, faint to break the Gale Wings. And just straight for Astral. Oh, you're more offensive than I had anticipated. That's cool. How do you like that damage, though? Because you're not KO and Sylveon. Unless you Helping Hand. If you Helping Hand, then you can't block this Braver. Cool with me. Unless Braver knocks myself out. I shouldn't put that damage. Sylveon should take this and get a double KO, putting us in a great position. Good job, Sylveon. Now you've got Urshifu, Rillaboom, Venoroar. I'm too scared of. is do I bring Calyrex out now? Yeah, because it's immune to fake out. And they've got multiple fake out partners in, potentially in the back. So I definitely go to it now. Ooh, cool with seeing that. And Rillaboom. Cool. That's a free Astral. If you target Sylveon, you can't double into Calyrex. But if you don't, a Hyper Voice is coming at probably faster than you, but Urshifu could be Scarf. That team was more aggressive. They started out with Astral. It's more aggressive than I anticipated. Yeah, Astral's fine. I was thinking, oh, what if they have, like, Terra Normal or Terra Dark, but Urshifu should be able to handle that. Throw water. That's just for damage output? You must be going, uh, Grassy Glide plus Surging Strike? So much damage, wow. Uh, and your sash on your Urshifu, good to know. Does that mean this is enough? That looks like enough to me. Which is really bad. Oh my god, did I lose?
last turn of Tailwind. Sucker Punch into their Rillaboom should be fine. Hopefully they like detect their Urshifu or something. No, they wouldn't detect. They would like Aqua Jet. Oh yes, they protect it! Oh, that's so big. Yes! I guess we're playing a little bit of Sucker Punch mind games, but I have a huge advantage in it. They go for Aqua Jet and they're faster. They know I'm choice. Oh, we're speed tying. The grass just revealed it's a speed tie. I gotta go for Sucker Punch. Oh, they won the speed tie again. Yeah, the grass shows it's a speed tie. If they switch up their moves, Sucker Punch wins. If they Aqua Jet again, Sucker Punch has a 50% chance of winning. We could blow Stein, actually. Yes! Got him! Oh, you thought I was choice, but nope. Pow! Right in the kisser. They kept winning those speed ties, though. That was annoying. Ugh. They must have noticed the speed tie at that point and was like, oh, I need to stall out Sucker Punches because they're choice. But no, that is not the case. GG, that was fun. Good card. Okay, we've got a Calyrex matchup with Ndidi. Rillaboom, Insin, Urshifu, Tornadus. Very meta, very standard, very scary. Gothitelle cannot trap Calyrex. Ogre Pond cannot touch Rillaboom. We could go with Talonflame to match Tailwinds. Maybe even Talonflame Sylveon in case they want to go with like a fake out lead, quick guard, and get a big hyper voice off. Sylveon is the play into Calyrexes. Bring our own Calyrex, of course. But beware of their Indeed. So Urshifu. I think those are the right four. Ogre Pond is tempting, but the Rillaboom is such a problem for Ogre Pond that I can't bring it. These are the four I have to be bringing. Yeah. Oh boy. Card. Win rate is lower against people who have no trainer card. I wonder what that's about. Maybe I get distracted. Uh, just straight for Calyrex, indeedy. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Tailwind. I can't Brave Bird. And I'm gonna do the biggest, nastiest hyper voice I can. Sylveon should be able to take a hit, but uh, well, they're not like Terra Ghost or anything, so I should be able to take a hit. Right. Expanding Force will be pretty nasty, though. Uh, if they're max speed, which they probably should be, they'll be faster than my Sylveon, even in Tailwind. But them going for Follow Me is nice. That means it's not a Helping Hand. I was really worried about Helping Hand. Oh, uh, they are still faster. They're max speed or they're very fast. Sylveon eats, and more importantly, Talonflame goes down, letting us bring in something scarier. That's a 
big crit. All right, Calyrex, come on out. Um, could that have been Urshifu? Uh, maybe. Let's see. Six one way, half a dozen the other. I'll go into Urshifu now and go for a Hyper Voice. Um, they could make some nasty play like... Flare Blitz into Sylveon? They could swap- did they have a Rillaboom? They could swap their Ndidi into Rillaboom and fake out my Sylveon? That'd be funny. Alright, no swaps. Good damage. What's your item, Incense? Show me that you don't have a Citrus and I can just KO you next turn. Nice. Knock off my Sash, but that's the way Sash works anyway. It would have been gone. And both my Mons on the field have Protect now, so if you go into Rillaboom for a Fake Out turn, you're not gonna get it. I've got Tailwind for another... Ooh, they've got Tailwind now. Wait, that's your last? Two turns of Tailwind remain on my end. Beautiful. Wicked Blow, Hyper Voice, what do you got? Battle cancelled, let's go! Let's go! GG, that was a quick one. Yes! Yes! Thank you, Sylveon! I knew you could do it! It took ten battles. It took me ten. It was win-win, lose-lose, win-win-lose, win-win-win. Oh my goodness. So that's like, what, seven and three is what it took me? Wow. Oh, well that was fun. Oh boy. All right, let's get back to the rental code. We are back. 10 games to Master Ball. I mean, I'll take it. Uh, seven wins, three losses. If those, if I just had four wins straight in a row, I would have been right in, but I had a blast using this team. You should try it too. This team is really good and really fun to play if you like being aggressive. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.